What's up, YouTube? Mike from Mass here. Mass Aquariums. Chilling in my recliner. Watching Food Network. As always. Love the food. Newest pup, Moose. Laying by the fire. Yes, it's, um... Uh, Saturday, May 7th. And I have a fire going. Because it's freezing here. And next Saturday is going to be... 87 degrees, just like that. No spring, just winter to summer, per usual in New England. New pup settled in, getting big and long. He's going to start packing on the pound soon. Let's check out the fish tanks. That's where I work. Look at all the thriving succulents, I guess you could say. This one and the creeping one is doing crazy good. This uh, tank never shows really that good on camera for some reason. A lot of reflection. Uh, not too bad. Uh, I stripped this tank mostly of all the plants. They were just so overgrown. The Jungle Val, the Monte Carlo, everything had like taken over the tank. And so pretty much stripped the whole right side here. Haven't really quite figured out what I'm gonna do. Um, still got the school of raspores, and I've got the cool looking Cory cats. I got the albino bristle nose, where is he? Oh, there he is. What's up, homie? Um, that's about it. Anubius is flowering. Love that. So, not much on this tank. Moosey, moosey pup. Moosecat. Let's check out downstairs. It's probably a super boring video for most of you that don't know me. Sad news, the female Pleco has died in the 135. Angel's doing great. Everything's doing great. But the female passed away. Uh, not sure what happened. Everybody in the tank was fine. She, her scale started to peel off. She was super old, like five years old maybe. And then all of a sudden, Dunsky. Um, but there was babies left inside the caves. And you can see we've got the zebra, or whatever that is, L4, L1, L97. And then the other male still hanging with the eggs. This was the only ever survivor out of like, I feel like tens of thousands of eggs that the mother hatched and the males raised. And that this is the only one. The angels eat every other one. Well, the Tetras did, who knows? But this tank's doing really good. Um, they're all on autopilot, really. Plants, arrow plants are doing pretty cool. Still, it's like growing all over the place. I like them. Just miss them every once in a while. Was, this was a cool one right here. Looks like a spider, kind of. But tank is in order. Let's check out salt water. It's my wife's project she's doing. All sorts of projects. So you get a good view. Coraline growing like crazy with no water change. I have not water changed this tank in, um, oh my God, a year and two months now. So 14 months since this tank had a water change, folks. Salt water tank, 14 months, no water change. Um, <laughs> the fish are all super healthy. In fact, after I stopped the water changes, the clowns finally, like, started being hosted or, like, swimming with, amongst the anemones. Um, what's his face? Grumpy face over here always comes out now. He's, like, never hiding anymore. And where's this my boy right here, my homie, Mr. T, bouncing around per usual. 
Um, all I do is change the filter media out with the filter floss, Cami Pure Blue, and the poly filter pad, and top off with RO. I mean, I'm constantly making RO for my other endeavors, but as well as reef tanks, I've got, um, that's 50 gallons and that's 35, so 85 gallons of RO at all times. Love this RO. Um, from Aqua FX, it just cranks it out. Uh, I think this is maybe a 200 or 250 gallon per day. I'm not sure, but what? So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six stage, and just cranks it out. I couldn't be more happier with this. I've been running this for five years, I think now. I'll post a link in the description. I haven't done that in a while. I also have the Aqua FX booster pump. By no means is this a Aqua FX video. I just, you know, haven't mentioned them in for so long and I've been running this forever and it's just money. Keeps on producing, keeps on producing, perfect. Never once had a problem. I am gonna have a few videos coming out. Here we go, there's the guys. Look at how beautiful that is. We need some, like, if I knew how to edit good, I'd put some, like, cool background music. Like, uh, GSP starting to take over this, so it's going to start climbing up everywhere. Uh, it's already take, skipped over right here to that rock, and where all the mushrooms were, like, starting to multiply. So... Everybody knows now, this tank is basically self-sufficient, and I'm leaving it that way. Right, Moosey Pup? Right, Puppy? Where's your brother? Grumpy old man's in bed. Uh, this tank is just letting go. Uh, like I said, I haven't done a water change in 14 months. I change out the filter media. I scrub the glass, clean off the tops. That's about it and everything is all good it's like everything gonna let go wild just take over whatever the most i'll probably do still is maybe get another cleanup crew my my cleanup crew right now is getting kind of tired but i still gotta like i don't know at least half a cleanup crew let's see if we can find something they were just over here like i got tons of snails they even have look there we go this guy they go to town. I mean, look. Look at the job this dude is doing, honestly. Can you see the left side of my camera and the right side? He's legit going up and down the glass, cleaning everything off the glass. It's that noticeable. Gotta have a cleanup crew. Dude is, dude is a beast. Look at the right side compared to the left. Amazing. So, that's my tank update, folks. Tank updates, about to go upstairs, crack a beer, sit by the fire, watch Food Network, and chill. Mike from Mass, I'm out.